Hey everyone, Ryan here at E-Trailer. Today on our 2014 Ford F53 motorhome, we're gonna be showing you how to install the Roadmaster Exact Center Steering Stabilizer. Before we get into that though, let's take a moment, we'll check this out and make sure it's gonna work for you. Underneath the motorhome, this is what the Exact Center uh, can look like. And it's a pretty simple concept and, and design and how it's gonna work, um, which is good, right? It's one end of it is going to connect to your front axle and the other end is going to connect to your tie rod. And so we're going to have another point of contact inside of here. It it's gas charged. It, it's almost like a shock absorber for lack of a better term. And what's going to happen is this is going to help stabilize your steering, meaning whenever you're going straight down the road, it's going to help you keep going straight you know on these these motorhomes the steering is super sloppy right a lot of them that i've personally been in you can be driving down the road and uh, you know pretty much turn the wheel to each side a little bit and continue to go straight it's not very responsive and so this will just really go a long way to help kind of tighten everything up make it more responsive more uh more pleasurable to drive and, and everything like that um with that said though you know your steering it's going to have to be in good working condition to begin with. You know, you can't have a tie rod that's super worn out or uh, other bad steering components that, that need to be replaced or fixed. Um, you know, you can't just slap this thing on there and expect it to, you know, uh, perform a miracle. So keep that in mind. If you have other issues, uh, you know, that need fixed to begin with, get those sorted be before you even think about adding something like this. With this one, it's more of a, a proactive type steering stabilizer, if you will, and that's because of that gas charge that's in here. So because of that, even when you're going straight, there's always some, um, I guess you could say resistance, if you will, um, if that makes sense. Um, it's going to kind of tighten up your steering, right? It's gonna uh, make that wheel feel a little bit tighter, a little bit more sporty, if you will. I know this is a motorhome, but, um, kind of for lack of a better term there. And it's being that it's set up that way, you're way less likely to, let's say, you know, if you hit a bump, the steering wheel is way less likely to kind of get thrown way off and then have to come back, you know, like, like the other ones do. So um, you know, it's gonna tighten all that stuff up and it, it's still gonna work similar to the coil design ones. You know, if you go to make a right turn, let's say, and then let off the wheel, that gas charge and everything is going to, to help bring those wheels back to straight and back to center. So this really goes a long way uh, on, let's say those really windy days, you know, you got this big old box driving down the road, wind gusts hits you, you know, and it wants to kind of throw you over one way or the other. This will really help combat that. Um, even those twisty turns, you know, if you're in the mountains or something, um, you get a lot more performance out of that. And because of that, it's gonna just make for a much more comfortable and confident driving experience. You know, you're not gonna be worn out and fatigued nearly as, as much like you would without something like this. So uh, kind of a no brainer to, to run something like this on the, on the coach, especially in conjunction with other different types of enhancements. And that's exactly what our neighbor decided to do today. And a lot of people end up kind of going down that, that route. You know, they do one enhancement, move on to the next, realize everything works as it should, and the driving experience is that much better. So in our case, on, on our motorhome today, um, we've added front sumo springs, which is really gonna help with sway and your ride quality, and a Hellwig front sway bar, which again is really gonna help eliminate that body roll um, we did a Hellwig sway bar on the back, as well as Sumo's on the back too. So having that whole package, you know, everything is uh, working in conjunction and making, making everything work, um, not have to work as hard, you know, by having these upgraded components, it's easier to steer, you know, easier on your suspension and easier to keep control of your rig. So when it comes down to it, a no brainer, you know, I've yet to meet someone who has put one of these on their motorhome and hasn't thoroughly enjoyed the results from it being on there. 
to be honest, it's kind of surprising. Stuff like this doesn't come on these motorhomes right out of the box because that, that's how much of a difference they actually do make. And if it were me, I'd want, you know, people who buy these motorhomes to be happy with them. So it uh, definitely makes a difference. Um, but as far as the installation goes, it's really not too bad. This is probably one of the easier enhancements to do on a motorhome. Um, you will have to remove some pretty large nuts uh, on the U-bolts over here. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, you'll have to have a pretty big torque wrench to torque them back down. Um, so something to think about. Um, if it's a chore you don't really want to have to tackle, not a huge deal. You can always utilize our dealer locator um, and hopefully that can get you going in the right direction to find someone uh, who can do it for you. But with that said, if this is something you're going to do yourself, feel free to hang around. We'll go ahead and get started on it now. To begin our installation, we're going to be working underneath the front of our motor home by the steering components. And what you want to do is make sure that your wheels are straight, you know. So facing forward, line up your steering wheel straight exactly how you'd want it whenever you're driving, driving down the road. And with that said, whenever you do this, ideally you'd want the suspension and everything to be loaded as if it were driving down the road. So in our case, the way our lifts work, it picks it up by the tires and, and simulates that. Um, but this can absolutely be done on the ground. Um, you know, just don't have quite, quite as much room. And really the only reason we use the lifts is so we can get better shots and you can see what's, what's going on. So uh, we'll move under there now and get started. Underneath of our motor home, just kind of as a reference, we're going to be looking from the back to the front. All right, so if you look at our front axle, this is going to be the back side of it. All right, we're going to have um, the U-bolts coming through. And these two nuts we're going to have to remove. So it definitely helps if you spray them down with some penetrating oil. These things are super tight, so be conscious of that. And we can use an inch and one a socket that's the size that's gonna fit these. So I just have a big breaker bar. At least we can uh, get them broke free. And then hopefully use our power tool here to take them the rest of the way off. Once you get a turn or two on them and they break free, we'll get them completely removed. I do like to kind of alternate though because these uh, threads are pretty fine and these are generating a lot of heat. So I'll run it down a little bit, do this one, so on and so forth. Grab this bracket now, and this is going to go over the U bolt. So, this side that um, is oval shaped, you want that towards the outside or pointing towards the tire. And you want it to sit where, you know, this ramped portion, that part, this is going to be closest to the back of the motorhome. So go ahead and slide that in place and reinstall the nuts. Whenever you're tightening up U-bolts, you want to run them down evenly as well. That way, everything just draws up at the same rate. I'm going to make sure and come back with a torque wrench and tighten the U-bolts down to the manufacturer's recommendations. Now we can grab this tie rod bracket, and this is gonna go on the bottom of the tie rod. And you want this piece, okay, where that kind of comes to a point with that hole in it, to face towards the front of the motorhome. So we'll sit on there like that, and we'll take a U-bolt, run that through, and then grab 
a flat washer. And a nylon lock nut. I'll get that started hand tight. The same thing for this one. And I'm just going to grab another U bolt and that same hardware hair. I'll grab another U-bolt, run it through there, and that same exact hardware combination, and get those started as well. So once that is done, let's grab a 916 and snug these up a little bit, but I just want to get rid of some of this slop in here, right? I, I don't want to get them so tight that this won't be able to move. I'll keep it a little loose. That way we can still position it and slide it if we need to. And whenever you tighten U-bolts down, you want to alternate, right? So run this one for a second, this one for a second, and so on and so forth to draw everything up evenly. Back to our chassis bracket. Uh, this hole here, you can take one of the bolts, drop that down on through, and then we'll take a flat washer, put that on, put the exact center over that, and then take another flat washer and get a nylon lock nut started. On the other end here, this is why we wanted to leave this loose so we could slide it and line it up with our exact center. You're gonna, you're gonna go from the bottom up, take bolt, flat washer, slide that over it. You'll have another flat washer and a nylon lock nut, just like the other side. With all of our hardware in place, we're gonna come back and just kind of lightly snug everything up, get all the slop out of it. So you uh, have a three quarter inch wrench and socket. We'll first start with this end here. The same thing with this end, just lightly snug it up. Really don't even wanna make you know, contact in here. that and we want to you know that'll kind of help us locate where this bracket needs to go and we want to position this to where you know this is pointing forward and nice and straight so happy with that there with a 916 and snug out the u-bolts Snug them up, that way this doesn't move on us. I'll double check everything here. And then, once we're happy with it, we'll move back to that one and snug it up completely here. Come back with a torque wrench and tighten down all the hardware to the amount specified in the instructions. And I'm just gonna uh, use the same order uh, tightening sequence that we just did. Once you have everything torqued on each end, you're gonna have this lock nut. If yours is loose, I suggest just tightening it up against the shoulder here and uh, just snugging it down. That way it doesn't wanna back off or anything. You're all wrapped up, you know, you wanna go out and take this thing for a spin, make sure it drives straight and everything. Um, to be honest with you, I've done quite a few of these type of steering enhancements and out of all those, might've had to adjust, come back and readjust one, maybe two of them. So it's not really that common, uh, common thing to have to do. But if need be, 
what you could do is you'd want to loosen up your U-bolts and then those jam nuts, you know, you could loosen them up and this whole center section can turn and, you know, you can make the uh, stabilizer longer or shorter and that'll change the geometry of it and then tighten the jam nuts back down, take it for a spin again. Uh, but, you know, as long as everything you started with your wheels straight and your steering is in good working condition to begin with, um, chances are pretty good, You're, you'll be all set and won't have to make adjustments. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Roadmaster Exact Center Steering Stabilizer on our 2014 Ford F53 motorhome.